sure. So our, uh, first of all, our principal, Mr. Barr, shout out to him. He's awesome. Um, he's always up for letting us try things and, and doing things differently just to just, again, get these kids to want to be here and just to feel loved. Um, but it is 100% of staff will be all hands on deck. We have our Megans, we call them in the office, our secretaries, they're both named Megan. Um, they are hands on. They'll do anything you ask them to. They do, um, uh, we did our, uh, Hump Day Drawdown, another ideas exchange, where every Wednesday, Hump Day, we draw um, four teachers' names out. Um, and again, that's another way to get teachers to buy in. They're like, you know what? It gets them to feel seen, heard, and loved. So the first teacher's name we call out, and it's a basically a reverse lottery kind of thing. At the end, we had we went to local businesses, and we got about six gift certificates. Um, I even volunteered to detail uh, one of the teacher's cars, whoever won. Um but then if you're still left in it at the end of the year, then you have a chance to win those. So every Wednesday, uh, we play music over the loudspeaker. We draw four names out from our staffity, um, just a random wheel. Our secretary, Megan, made this wheel, and she spins it, and it lands, and they announce who it is. First person picked um, gets a duty coverage, which most teachers really, your staffity really enjoy having that day of getting something covered for you. Um, so they have a duty coverage, and the next three get uh, $1 scratch-off lottery tickets. Um, so they have a chance to win with that. And something we're adding on this year is we're going to get some surveys going out to teachers to learn a little bit more about them. So then for that week from Wednesday to Tuesday, that is their kind of spotlight week where we can really like during announcements, hey, did you know that Mrs. Thompson really enjoys photography or that, you know, Mr. Moore really enjoys going for runs with his wife and daughter? Um, just something like that, just to get more, again, making them feel seen, heard, and loved. Um, but I mean, you always have a few that are going to kind of push back, but we don't have a lot, to be honest with you. And I think it's because we're kind of real and we 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 get that it's not perfect um, and there's no magic wand, but we also have that support for them and we're here for it and there's going to be bad days. But then, you know, to be a champion means, you know, we use the all in uh, from our friend, um, John Paul Gonzalez. Yeah, John Paul. Yeah. So we use that and I had a few bad days and we kind of all did. And I said, look. I said, here's being all in. All in doesn't mean you come to school every day and it's just the best thing ever and, you know, rainbows and sunshine, whatever, unicorns. I said, being all in means sometimes you get kicked in the shin on a Tuesday, but you come through that door on Wednesday. And that means you're still going. Like, you're still trying. You're still, you're not giving up. So sometimes all in just looks a little bit different. And we did the whole poker chip thing idea with them. And most, a lot of them have them hanging right by their door in the classroom and or on their desk. They have them taped there. Um, so... Uh, yeah, there's a, definitely a lot of buy-in and it helps uh, to have that buy-in because the kids get it too, even that young. They know if you're faking it or not. They know if you truly, you know, believe in the whole champion thing or anything like that. Um, but we, we did uh, our photography um, organization that does our class pictures. They did posters. I asked them to do posters for the um, above the classroom doors to try to get teachers faces there. A lot of kids don't know. Like we say, you know, who do you want to have next year in second grade? And well, I don't know who the second grade teachers are. So we're trying to find ways to intermix the grades a little more, especially now that we're out of the COVID air. Um, but then just having pictures up on, you know, as you walk through the halls, they did kind of superhero with champion on it and everything else, uh, caricatures kind of thing. Some of them were a little more cartoonish than the teachers uh, or staff, what he really wanted. Some of them, mine look pretty good. I look pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. So I kept mine for <laughs> sure. Um, but some of them didn't look the greatest. So I kind of followed up with, hey, you know, I know some of you don't really like the picture that turned out. I said, but look at it this way. Every morning when you walk in that door, look up at that picture and think, boy, I'm glad I don't actually look that bad. You know, so it's just a different way. And of course, making them laugh, you just have to find a way to make them laugh. 